Dear students, so this is part two of the lecture that we have just covered. And that is the lecture that covered the principles of the uh, professional ethics in nursing or simply nursing ethics. So now for now, we want to look at nursing standards or qualities of a nurse. So what are the qualities of a nurse? And that is the very important question that we want to answer in this next part of the lecture. One is service. A nurse is trained to serve humanity in the form of the sick person. This applies not only to the patient's physical, spiritual, psychological needs. The nurse must also understand the nature of illness and nurse the patient skillfully with the best of his or her ability and intelligence. So you are there for service. Actually, you are there to provide a service. You are not there as a small god or someone to be feared, but you are there to meet the needs of the patient. So the next uh, quality is uh, loyalty. A nurse is obliged to be reliable to her or his patient in order to gain patient's confidence in her or his ability to help and care for them. Okay, So a nurse must be loyal to, uh, to senior members of the nursing and medical staff. The nurse has to ap uh, appreciate that rank in the medical and nursing profession is given according to knowledge and experience. Therefore, the nurse should approach the patient and every person with kindness, sympathy, and respect, regardless of age, sex, race, or social class. Okay? So, loyalty. You must be loyal to your patient, but also loyal to your seniors. And senior may mean someone who, is, who has more experience than you, or simply someone who is more educated that is maybe if you have a degree someone with a master's is more educated if uh, you have a degree someone with a diploma may actually have a lot of experience in that field and you have to be loyal to them okay. then the next quality of a good nurse is observation this is the power and alertness to see, hear, and appreciate what is being done and act accordingly and intelligently. This is very important. So the nurse does not use just feelings but gathers information through observation. The nurse must be as objective as possible in order to assess situations and act on them in a critical, intelligent manner. So uh, the nurse must observe procedures and how instruments are handled and kept, all that, this, this addition. But the major point is that the nurse must observe their environment, the patient's environment. All in all, in all this, the patient is assessing what might be hindrance, might, what might be a factor that may aggra aggravate patient's illness. The nurse is assessing uh, factors or ways to improve patient outcomes. So the next factor is truthfulness. This is the most important and vital virtue of special value to the nursing profession. A nurse must be honest in word and deed to her or his patients. And then also to her fellow workers. Above all, the nurse must openly admit his or her mistake, whether such a mistake is discovered by herself or by someone else. Okay, so that is being honest, that is being truthful. Then tactfulness. The nurse must be tactful, okay? You don't just speak anyhow. You don't approach situations anyhow. You must be tactful. And here we, we mean that the nurse must be careful to uh, must be careful to say and to do the right 
thing with greatest considerations for other person's feelings. This is also important to protect the patient from unnecessary distress. For example, if the doctor made a mistake, I don't think it would be very, very good for you to announce before the patient that that doctor is actually full of mistakes. He, he, he does not know what he is doing. Okay, so you have to be tactful in correcting errors of fellow health workers. Okay. Then the next quality is control of emotions. Display of absolute excessive emotions is not a quality of a good nurse. The nurse should be good tempered, able to control emotions such as anger, irritation, love, hatred. A nurse needs to develop emotional maturity in order to cope up with the problems and different behaviors of patients. Okay, so you must be someone who really knows how to control your feelings of anger, of, of love, of you know, uh, anxiety. All these emotions must be under proper check if you want to be a good nurse. Intolerance and understanding, a nurse must realize that the patient are physically, emotionally, psychologically sick and worried about their disease, their homes and family, even their fate, actually. Someone is worried that perhaps they may not leave the hospital and see their family again. Therefore, human understanding, sympathy, together with technical knowledge and efficiency are a foundation on which a true professional nurse must build his or her career. The other is resourcefulness and initiative. The nurse should be able to act immediately during emergency by using his or common sense, knowledge, and with ability to use the available resources or equipment for the benefit of the patient. However, a nurse should execute nursing care with his or her professional level of responsibility. So that is, uh, I think that is clear. Uh, uh, you have to be initiative. The, the nurse must respond appropriately in especially emergency situations uh, or when you observe that something needs intervention, please intervene and don't wait for instructions. Uh, but you must use your knowledge, experience, and critical thinking skills so that you can act appropriately. Then courtesy, okay, this is very important. It costs nothing to be polite and considerate to others. Courtesy should be extended to visitors, relatives and friends, as well as to the hospital team. While patients should be addressed by their correct names, visitors should be ended, uh, should be uh, should be addressed too promptly and pleasantly if they have to be kept waiting. Seats should be provided. A nurse should respect colleagues and stand politely before his or her seniors. Okay. Then punctuality. Please come to the hospital on time. Do your procedures on time. Okay. If it means to give medications, if it means to carry out a certain procedure, wound dressing, do it on time. Uh, and leave the hospital on time as well. Do not leave uh, very early or very late. That's what we call punctuality. Then cleanliness, of course, uh, one of the Identifying characteristics of nurses is that they are very smart, they are very clean, they are tidy, okay, and that is part of the infection control method that you have to put in mind certain actions or initiatives to keep your patient from acquiring infections. 
so make sure that as a nurse you are always clean then confidentiality this i talked about in uh, in the professional ethics every nurse must ensure confidentiality and this means that you have to keep secrets of the patients fellow students and hospital staff it implies that nurse has to ensure that patient's diagnosis problems and conditions should not be discussed without outside with outsiders that are not involved in patient's care in addition information that creates nurse patient's therapeutic relationship should be kept sacred information should be released to the relatives or friends if the patient only if the patient himself gives permission okay. so there are also what we call etiquettes uh, etiquettes are good manners this is just good manners that nurses should possess so you should be courteous to all be gentle and polite in your work you should greet your seniors co-workers your patients etc as a nurse the appropriate words and according to the time of the day you should address the seniors with proper title e.g sir madam sister mr miss doctor etc okay stand up when people of higher rank enter your room well this has been the practice in the past uh, it is still a practice it's it shows that you are well educated uh, stand up when answering questions in the classroom open the door for the seniors and stand aside for them to pass excuse yourself when overtaking a senior person okay maintain silence wherever and whenever necessary keep your dress neat and tidy while on duty never use any form of jewelry that may interfere with work uh, these include uh, earrings things uh, people put on their in their arms um, and any other form of jewelry that actually may interfere with work obey seniors without arguing okay when you are given an instructions when you are given an instruction do not start arguing with a senior but try to obey uh, uh, However, if you see that there, there might be serious implications to the patient outcome, then you have to courteously address that, that concern to your senior. Okay, they will understand but do not argue. Then help the seniors to carry a heavy load if you find them on the way. Then say thank you when someone is doing a favor for you. If you are late with procedures, and a fellow nurse actually helps you to do some of the work just say thank you it is it shows that you are well educated do not delay your answers the questions give the answers immediately and appropriately be punctual keep eye contact and sit face to face when listening to someone never let others secret go out of you do not cover the mouth while talking to others excuse yourself before you interfere with others engaged in a talk or doing some work so at the end of the day uh you are uh, you understand you have understood this lecture i think it's appropriate for you to sit as a good nurse okay thank you for listening to this lecture have a good day